Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey Worship Book. The service is taken from the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities and for the concerns of the Iona community. The form of words on some of the slides has been changed to reflect a recent update. The service is interactive and you're invited to join in with the responses. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. The world belongs to God. The, the earth and all its people. How good it is, how wonderful to, to live together in unity. Love and faith come together Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. I shall praise you, O God, from my soul. I shall praise you, O God, from my soul. Though my song be at odds with the will of earthly gods, I shall praise you, O God, from my soul. I shall bow. Move among us, God, give us life. Let, Let your people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With, With your spirit of freedom, sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Renew us in body, mind and spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, 
and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the, in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Loving God in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. Psalm 65 You are God, our Deliverer, in whom all put their trust. All who live on earth, all beyond the horizon, by great skill and untold strength, you fix the mountains in place. You calm the raging seas and quieten the warring nations. People throughout the world stand in awe of your skill. Lands to east and west gratefully sing your praise. You care for the life of the planet, forever tending the ground. You nourish the fruits of the earth, the crops that feed your people. You water and level the land, blessing each season's growth. You crown the year with your bounty. Rich harvests are signs of your goodness. The open pastures are lush, and hills are clothed with joy. The meadows are covered with sheep and valleys burst into song. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the Word and Wisdom of God. The reading is taken from Acts chapter 7, verses 9 to 16. The patriarchs, out of jealousy, sold Joseph into slavery in Egypt. But God was with him and rescued him from all his troubles. He gave him wisdom, which so commended him to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, that he appointed him governor of Egypt and of the whole royal household. When famine struck all Egypt and Canaan, causing great distress and our ancestors could find nothing to eat, Jacob heard that there was food in Egypt and sent our fathers there. This was their first visit. On the second visit, Joseph made himself known to his brothers and his ancestry was disclosed to Pharaoh. Joseph sent for his father Jacob and the whole family, 75 persons in all, and Jacob went down into Egypt. There he and our fathers ended their days. Their remains were later removed to Shechem and buried in the tomb for which Abraham paid a sum of money to the sons of Hamor at Shechem. Proverbs 
for the word of God in scripture and other well springs of nourishment, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks be to God. Don't tell me of a faith that fears to face the world around. Don't dull my mind with fickle thoughts of grace without a ground. I need to I need know, know that God is real. I need to that Christ know that Christ can feel the need to touch and love and heal the world, including me. Don't speak of piety and prayers divorced from human need. Don't talk of spirit without flesh like harvest without seed. I I need to know God is real, I need to that Christ can feel the need to touch and love and heal the world, including me. Don't sate my soul with common sense distilled from ages past, and it for those who fear the world's about to breathe its last. I need to know God is real, I need to that Christ can feel the need to touch and love and heal the world, including me. Set the cross before my eyes unless you tell the truth Of how the Lord who finds the lost was often found uncouth I need to I need know, to know that God is real I need that to know Christ that Christ can feel the need to touch and love and heal the world including me So let the gospel come alive in actions plain to see In imitation of the one whose love extends to me Spirit of the Living Christ, we thirst for your presence, the searchings in our mind, the longings in our heart. Truly our souls are restless. Yet you understand and acceptance which enfolds us when our failures overwhelm, and our guilt imprisons even our best intentions. Healer of Galilee, you come again and again to permeate our human condition, to take upon yourself all, all that hurts us. You accompany us when our bodies are racked with pain, when our minds are in confusion, when our self-esteem is lost, when our failures overwhelm us, when our faith falters, when our relationships break down, when in our loneliness we move beyond tears. Lord Christ, enable us to place our trust in you and so to live in the present moment. So often we forget that you long for peace and healing in our minds and hearts. Your song pierces even our darkest days and your hands are always and everywhere the source of our journey into wholeness, and that in our springtime, which is your gift alone, O Jesus, risen one. Praise the truth tellers, for at last the judges have spoken. An illegal annexation, violent settlement of the land, by what has become an apartheid state, say the judges. Sharp cries of protest are healing words as justice, bring institution a vessel for peace. Today we pray for racial justice and the rights of indigenous peoples. And we pray for the peoples, powers and places of the following countries. Japan, North Korea, South Korea and Taiwan. 
and on the 20th day we pray for members belonging to the family group of Yorkshire 3, Joanna Anderson and Peter, Diana Carroll and Sarah Lamming, Rosie Coles and Roger, Ros Davies and Kerry, and for members belonging to the family group of Mersey, Stuart Blackledge and Liz Delafield with Robert, Gordon Cottle and Sylvia Cottle, Alison Marshall and Peter Marshall, and Marna Watson. And on this day of the month, we pray for associate members in England South East. Walk with them today, O God, and keep us on your way. O Christ, the Master Carpenter, you at the last, through wood and nails, crafted our whole salvation. Wield, Wield well, well your tools in the workshop of your world so that we who come rough-hewn to your bench may here be fashioned to a truer beauty of your hand. Amen. In work, rest and worship, God is with us. Gathered and scattered, God is with us. Now, and always. God, God is, is with us. us.